So Greenwood standing over the corner, plenty forward for Manchester City. And towards Lauren Hemp who meets it and guides it in with a clever header. Spurs just didn't react. And Manchester City in front with just six minutes on the clock from the well-worked set piece. Lauren Hemp restored to the starting lineup in the WSL today and responds with a goal already. Chase on for Stanway to apply the pressure to Neville and she's uh, dispossessed Ashley Neville here. This is Stanway trying to squeeze it in, unlucky. Comes back off the post. Didn't have the biggest of gaps to aim for, but very nearly made it two for Manchester City. All their own work, really, after dispossessing Neville. And plenty forward. And Gordal will cut it back. This is wide. And a touch over the top from Rebecca Spencer. That's a brilliant save. Ankle Dahl on debut, teeing up White, who did little wrong with it. There goes Hemp. Manchester City having real joy down that left-hand side. It's a brilliant ball, and Becky can't quite reach it. The closest to applying the touch on the far post, Janine Becky. Agonising. Whips in again towards White, whose presence was a distraction, and Becky's blazed it over. It's another big chance for the Olympic champion. Still the second goal won't go in for Manchester City. There's Graham, who's just come on immediately into the action, finds Ubugagu, who first substitute, with options arriving in white, in towards Graham, behind her is Williams, and completely against the balance of play, Tottenham Hotspur are back on terms with the first WSL goal for the club for Rachel Williams. But these substitutes combined for Spurs brilliantly in the build-up here. And then Williams did the rest with the goalkeeper wrong-footed just over an hour in, and it's 1-1. Uncle Dale got a uh, foot in, Kennedy has been uh, dispossessed. And this is Nats through the middle, who is away and in behind here, and can't quite find the finish. Well, Jessica now so close to completing the Tottenham turnaround. And will surely feel she should have done. Sure able to come away with it. Quite right ahead of it, so too Lauren Hemp. Who cuts it back. Angled, oh, brilliant chance, and it's ballooned over the bar. With the goal and the glory in her sights on debut. But the Swede couldn't keep it down. So Graham over the free kick here for Spurs and switches it up for Angela Addison in space to uh, deliver the cross, hoists it in, hits Horton, oh, hit the post and the goalkeeper and has gone in. And incredibly Tottenham have turned it around, but was there a hand in there? I am the substitute going up for that, that's what Manchester City are appealing for. It did appear to strike the arm looking at that, but it wasn't spotted by the officials. Really unlucky as well for the keeper. Can Manchester City snatch something at the end? It's wide from White. And their 33-game unbeaten home run appears to be ending here. Not their night. Uh, we're here with Rachel Williams at the Academy Stadium. Rachel, 2-1 uh, against Manchester City. Uh, sum up how you and the girls are feeling right now. Uh, honestly, like, just can't put it into words. We just grafted all week. We exploited their weaknesses and just knew that if we just stuck together, stay compact, made them go round the outside and we deal with crosses coming in, that we wanted to get some out of this game and yeah, we've done that with the 2-1 win. You say that about sticking together, we, we had to sort of stick together there in the first half because they, they had a lot of chances. What yeah. was said at half-time there? Because we come out in the second half, we looked really aggressive and really on it. Yeah, um, half-time it was just the same message as we got at the start, it was just stay in the game. We just knew if we had to stay in the game, we'd get some out of this because we'd frustrate Man City. And obviously they got the early goal, didn't phase us because we just knew they pulled some out that we weren't prepped for, not a problem. We'll just put the wrongs right for the second half and just knew that if we st stuck together by not only as the game plan, but just voices, talking, supporting each other. Someone makes a mistake, never mind, just get up get yourself back out there and we go again 
and yeah, like I say, it's shown. So I'm really proud of the girls. And then your equaliser, I don't know if you know, it's your first WSL goal since 2018. <laughs> um, talk us through it. Um, yeah, I mean, I've had a few injuries along the way and getting a bit older now. So I'm a dinosaur in this league. So uh, yeah, I think I had a few messages laughing saying I'm a veteran, but uh, just credit to the staff they've stuck by me um, David S&C just we and just keep saying the fitter we are the better we are David graphs us like if we got a top up for our stats and our running he does that and I just I think the ball went out to Kit and I I think I actually played it to her and I thought oh here's one of them runs if because I'm not on the edge of the box it's going to get highlighted I've let the team down and yeah luckily all night it had been skipping through the grass was wet and it just come through and I just thinking Composure, composure, side foot it, and I just seen it go in the back of the net, and the yeah, air just like couldn't believe it. That was it. You never looked like you was gonna miss, did you? When you uh, when you connected there at the uh, at the back post, and then what, 15, 20 minutes later, we, we get the winner. Uh, yeah. Talk us through that. I think it was deserved in the end for, for us to get the three points. I think it was. Yeah, like we grafted, we had a game plan, we stuck to it. I mean, for the viewers outside, they might have just thought, oh, we're just gonna sit in, but we we're realistic. City are a good team, so why play to their strengths and let them go through you and pop it around you? So we compact the middle, we push them around the edges, um, everyone stuck to everything that we'd said. And so for me, the way we played, the way everyone gave everything, even the subs, subs that didn't get on, the support from the sideline, staff, players, it was everything. So yeah, I'm really proud of the girls and we did deserve the win, so yeah. And that's now the perfect start, two wins uh, from two games. What can this group go on to achieve this season? Yeah, like. I mean, I think there's been talks this year about like we're pretty much the underdog and we had a tough start last year. We had, um, I think the top four was our first four games. So for us, we've looked at the season. We need to put what we did last year, the, the second half of the season especially, going into the start of this year. And I think what we're gonna, you'll find is that we ain't going to get carried away. Yeah, we won tonight, but come Tuesday, It'll be back to training, prepping for the next game, which is the interna after the international break, it's Reading at home. We'll work on them and we'll take every game as it is. And we'll just keep under the radar and we'll just keep ticking a box. And we're happy to do that because I think this year, like we could we could achieve something this year. And I think we know that, like the staff believe in us, the girls, we believe in each other. And there's a nice vibe around the group. So, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to see. So I hope everyone else is going to be. Brian, what a turnaround. What a win. How are you feeling right now? I'm, I'm just delighted for the players and like for the staff, everybody's worked really hard in pre-season and we probably weren't quite where we wanted to be last week and so today we've come out and wanted to put on a performance that, you know, I think the, the players knew that we were capable of and it, it took a lot of resilience, it took a lot of character and we had to do a lot of the stuff that people, you know, don't really talk about very often in order to get a result but I think I'm so proud of the way that all the players applied themselves, I couldn't have asked for any more from them. You've said it there, but City haven't lost here in 33 games. It's some streak. It's not an easy place to come. And we showed a different side to our game tonight, didn't we? We showed grittiness. Yeah, and we have to, you know, to be in this league and to compete against the top teams in this league. Make no mistake, you know, this is one game. We've got the rest of the season to go and we're going to have to find that on a number of occasions throughout the course of the season. But, you know, to show that resilience this early on, is one of the things I'm most pleased about because you know we are going to need to utilise that and pull on that. So there'll be games where we do need to be good on the ball and we get more possession, but then there'll be games where we have to do this side of the game and we still need to get results. So yeah, really pleased. Coming into a game like this, you know it's going to be tight, fine margins, and to concede early, it could have changed the game plan somewhat, but the team dug in and they were so, so disciplined and organised. You must be so pleased with that performance. Yeah, I, you know, I've spoke to them all week and today at half-time as well. We needed to get into the game, at, in at half-time, sorry, in contention still, which they absolutely did what I asked them to do. So we came in at 45 minutes, knowing that a one goal difference, still there's pressure on Man City to, you know, hold on to that. So we stuck diligently to the game plan. Everyone worked really hard. And I think that made it really difficult. And then when we got those key moments, when we earned them from obviously doing all the work out of possession, you know, we did the, the, you know, the guys did a great job and took the advantage and scored those goals. And, and ultimately that's, that's what it's about, isn't it? She was immense throughout the game, but particularly in the first half, like you said there, the importance of going in just a goal down was massive. It was a trademark Becky Spencer performance, wasn't it tonight? Like her saves in the first half were just incredible. Yeah, I mean, 
Becky's a, an ultimate pro, you know, she knows how to be in the game. She's very able to be really focused when it really matters. And um, and I think for her, this it's very typical of, of what she's capable of. And I'm really, I'm delighted for her because, you know, obviously you don't, you, goalkeepers, you don't really want them to be that busy, to be honest. But um, obviously when she was then busy, you know, she just shows what she's capable of. And, and I think the out of possession stuff combined with obviously the stuff that she does on the ball, just gives us a real positive way of playing out and a real confidence in possession. She was brilliant, wasn't she? Absolutely immense. And you must be really pleased as well with the impact that the subs had, because it, it kind of showed the togetherness in the team that they came on and just gave exactly the same level of energy and intensity as the players on the pitch. Yeah, I think when you get when you set the tone and everybody's in agreement with this is what we're about and this is what we're doing and you get that culture right in your team, you know, there's never any passengers. And I think when we've obviously needed to make the subs that we've needed to make for varying reasons, every single player on the bench, when I'm looking around, I know is going to come on and do exactly what they need to do because that's just the togetherness of the, this team right now. And, and I think that as long as we can keep that, we can do really positive things in this league and, and that's going to be really important to us. But every single one of them had an impact and I can't ask for any more. Yeah, a fantastic start to the season. Two wins from two games. Has the international break come at a bad time now? <laughs> Maybe. We, we don't know. Do we? We'll find out. I mean, I think um, I think it gives us a little bit of time because obviously we've got a few people away, but it gives us time to do a little bit more work on the people that we've not had as much time with. So actually, it's only going to help build a lot of those relationships. And then when they come back, obviously, we've got a few days lead into the Reading game as well. But, you know, going away on a high, I think, helps. And um, and when people come back, you know, really, I want them to always want to be coming back to club and to really be enjoying what we're doing here. And uh, based on the conversations I've had today, they are going away, but they're going to be delighted to come back. So, yeah, so I can't wait for the next game. Our chances, I think we had more than enough opportunities, especially in the first half, to win the game. And then obviously when you don't take those chances, you don't give anything away at the back. I've seen, I've seen the second goal, um, although, or the, the one where the player's gone with both hands and it's, it's a terrible decision that's gone against us. But we need, to, we need to own it and make sure that we don't get into that situation by putting the game to bed a lot earlier than what, than what happened.